Hi there, I'm Maria. I'm going to be demonstrating the locks of the C-arm and the function of each one. First of all, I want to show you the way that the base of the C-arm can move. If the handles are turned straight this way, you can move it front and back. It's very, very heavy though. If you need to move it sideways, just turn the right handle out to the side and you can very easily slide the arm to the side. This lock right here is the in-out lock. It allows you to move closer and further. Gives you about a 10 to 12 inch range. This is a nice lock because you can get closer or center on the anatomy that you want without moving the entire whole heavy base because it's very hard to move. So it's a good idea to start your case with this lock about half mass. You're going to be about halfway in and halfway out. It gives you a little play on either end. This lock right here is a side to side lock. This is the release for that. This allows for the CR to swing this way and also this way, again without moving the base. To check to see if this lock is zeroed out, there's a little hash mark. Right here, these two lines need to line up so that you know you're zeroed out on that one. Next lock I'm going to be showing you is the lateral lock. It allows you to go from AP to lateral position and any of like position in between. The release for this one is right here. And you can swing partially or you can swing all the way to a lateral position. In order for it to stay, you need to re-lock the top here. To see how many degrees you're angling, they're written right here. 10, 30, 40, 45, and also there's hash marks all along the C-arm right there. To zero out the slot, I'm just going to put the zero right here at this black hash mark. Reattach it. This is the cephalocaudal lock right here. It allows you to angle the whole arm cephalatic caudal. out this one, I'm looking at the hash marks that are written right here, and I'm lining that up with the line right there. I'm going to relock it. The last lock, this is the one that we use the least frequently. It's called the orbital lock, and the release for that is right here. It moves the C-arm in an orbital fashion. Right here. Those are the locks. Once you know the function of the locks and how you can move your CR, you can do almost any case.